The Prime Minister has posted his Easter message online. We are enriched, not divided, by our diversity of faiths, culture and races. Also taking to social media, his predecessor, tweeting a Downing Street meeting with the British Prime Minister. Well, I think Australians are not very interested, other than yourself, of course, in the ghosts of government past. Now another ghost from the past is haunting him. Labor's targeting the Cabinet Secretary, Arthur Sinodinos. The New South Wales Electoral Commission is withholding $4 million in funding. Over accusations, the state Liberals had deliberately concealed the identity of major donors to the 2011 state election campaign. Mr Sinodinos was State Party Treasurer at the time. You really have to ask yourself, why won't the Prime Minister act? Uh, why is he protecting his numbers man? And what secret is the Liberal Party of New South Wales keeping that's worth $4 million to them? Mr Sinodinos has strongly rejected the Commission's findings, saying they contain major errors and has asked for a retraction. In an at times testy interview last night, the PM backed his Cabinet Secretary that said the donations should and will be disclosed. The Liberal Party should only take donations in accordance with the law and they should disclose them in accordance with the law. Other ministers are also supporting him. Arthur's basically said that there has been some misreporting on what's happened from the Electoral Commission and I think that we'll, we'll see this flesh itself out. The opposition says he should be sacked if he was involved. If he was responsible for it, then I think his position becomes untenable. It caps a difficult end to the week for Malcolm Turnbull, who angered the Belgian ambassador for linking the Brussels attacks with the refugee crisis. I don't think anyone would seriously doubt what I said. Everything I said was carefully checked by us, my security advisers. Omar Dubaj, SBS World News.